when we practice positivity, practice thankfulness, mm -hmm. we're we're taken away from the negative. Right. It is easy to be negative. It is easy to complain about life and complain about everything in your life. Right. But it's very difficult to find happiness right. in difficult situations. One, one, one. Welcome back, guys, to another episode. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. This is the day after Black yep. Friday. Black Friday. Black Friday. We don't really do anything with Black Friday no, ourselves, we don't. but it's just Christmas decorating day, though. Yes, she could not <laughs> wait, so now she's ready to go. I am ready. So after this podcast, that's what we'll be doing, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so, let's go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, well, let's just go ahead and get into it. Yeah. If you're new, welcome. So Jody has been doing a three week no sugar November, which you've yeah. done before, right? You've yeah, done this, this is my third Actually, we've year. all done this before, mm -hmm. last year. The past two, two years. years ago. Yeah. I just didn't jump on this yeah. side. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You're like, you're doing that? I'm not. That's <laughs> totally fine. No, I mean, I've really enjoyed it for myself. Usually in the fall, I end up eating a lot more sugar for some reason. It's just a seasonal well, yeah. thing. Um, you, love, you love your pumpkin lattes and... Yeah, my pumpkin rolls and all those things, which we didn't have this year. So actually, I didn't feel we didn't. You know how the pumpkin yeah. with the cream cheese icing, like the log thing. No, we usually, I did not. Oh, anyways, we I usually get one that. of those, um, and we didn't get that this year. We did have, you know, some treats. I had, I think I might have had one or two pumpkin spice lattes or something like that. I know I'm basic, but <laughs> um, anyways, uh, I didn't really feel like I had too much sugar, but I really enjoy doing three weeks in November leading up to Thanksgiving of yeah. not having sugary drinks or sugary treats or things like that and just kind of letting my body reset. So mm -hmm. I can, I see, it's not like it's a weight loss thing. It's really, a, I can see other results in my body of not having that sugar. Well, let's talk, about, like the, let's talk about the results. Well, how did you feel before you started this? Um, I felt like, uh, I mean, I was giving in to different treats. Like there's, Really, it's a thing about self-control. When it comes right. down to it, it's a self-discipline, just task of three weeks of being very disciplined to yourself to build that self-discipline. And before, it was just like, oh, it's Tuesday afternoon. I need a piece of chocolate. You know, so when you're on this, you can't have a Tuesday yeah. afternoon piece of chocolate regardless of how you're feeling. Um, so I think for me, this whole, well, November for us has been the kids sick. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, both of them have been sick basically from the beginning. First, first time we did Leafs and they played in Leafs, they've just been yeah. out congested. So we're not gonna play in Leafs anymore, I don't think. I was sick too. Yeah, you had it too, kind of. a little bit. So, um, it's been for all those parents out there. You know, it's rocky when your kids are sick. Like there is, you're trying to work, you're trying to take care of them, you're trying to take care of the house. It's just this whole other. Um, component. Unstructured. Yeah, it's chaotic yep. a little bit. And with that chaos, I think a lot of us feel unhinged. You feel unhinged emotionally too. Yep. So I realized for myself that I was doing no sugar and having sick kids yep. and trying to work and trying to do everything else. And I had this goal. It was going to be the three weeks of no sugar. So even though I would have some days like of nonstop vomiting for Eli, where it's like, I just want to give in to mm, some sugar to yeah. feel that, like that, uh, that mellowing dopamine. out of, yeah, of your brain or have a glass of wine. I didn't do alcohol mm, yeah. either. Um, I Which couldn't. I thought that was going to be very hard for you. You thought it was going to be really yeah. hard? Oh, no. <laughs> it wasn't that hard. I drink tea at night. You like your like, wine. I do like my wine, yeah. but um, I substitute for like a nice herbal tea, which is actually probably better, you know, better You're for right, me. Yeah. So, um, but mm -hmm. yeah, it was that thing of like those, we put so much comfort in that kind of food and those kinds of drinks. And I think we, and I see it in other people too mm -hmm. now, where when we're having those emotionally hard days, it's really easy for us to jump into having those treats, which can sometimes be upwards of like a hundred grams of sugar in some of those drinks. So um, for me, it was really a lot of just like discipline and, and being able to um, realize when I want to emotionally lash out at food, I guess, or have food as my comfort. Mm -hmm. So I think I remember that your first day was a little rough, right? It was like <sighs> my, well, it was my, I think it was like my second or third day into oh, yeah. it. And one of my clients brought me a pumpkin spice latte and a piece of pumpkin loaf. and she often brings me coffee, which she's so sweet, so sweet that she didn't know that I was doing this. So I'm sitting there like, 
and in my head, I'm like, oh, crap. Like, this is my goal. I'm not supposed <laughs> to have sugar, but she is like the sweetest person ever. I love her. She is. And she brings me coffee to drink while I'm training her. Like, it's just like a, a friend's just chat session, <laughs> yeah. really. And so I'm at the gym with this coffee. And I'm like, I can't not drink it, right? <laughs> so I drank like half of the pumpkin spice latte. And I gave Eli, I had some of the pumpkin love too, <laughs> let's be honest. And I gave the rest of it to Eli, though. But I was like, all right, well, I guess I'm starting again yep. after this. But so that was kind of my rough spot. It was hard when it was. Well, and, and then I got another client brought me a chocolate bar and then that same client brought me sugar cookies. So we have a cabinet full of <laughs> sweets that are ready to be consumed yeah. whenever um, we want to, but in, in moderation. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so it, it was a little mm -hmm. bit of a rough start, but I got back on it and, you know, what did a yeah. good two and a half weeks for sure of no sugar. So, so for me, it's not hard. It's like, yeah. I, I crave more fattier foods. So like the sugar November wasn't going to be hard for me. So mm -hmm. I, I I honestly didn't right. eat much sugar. I had like maybe a couple pieces of chocolate over this last three weeks, That's, but that yeah. was it because yeah. I don't crave sugar because yeah. I'm, I just been on low carb for so long that I just mm -hmm. don't crave sugar, Yeah, but I do feel better. Yeah. I know I feel better from not having so much carbohydrates because carbohydrates break down into your sh to sugar. Mm -hmm. So anything that you have carbohydrate wise, it's just sugar. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you're used to eating a lot of carbs, mm -hmm. eating a lot of sugar, right? For the most part. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't, well, I do restrict myself quite a bit. I mean, I, I used to eat a lot more carbs and then especially since having gestational diabetes, yeah. I've kind of backed off on eating a lot of, a lot of carbs. But, um, I, I mean, for me, like a hundred grams a day of carbs is like oh, a God. good, but I mean, if I have, if, I mean, you go and get a latte or something, you know, yeah. That's out the window yeah, right away. Yeah. Um, so I try to, re, you know, I change the ingredients. I don't get a full, full sugary mm -hmm. latte. I, you know, I change it up. But um, so, but yeah. So <laughs> what kind of benefits did you notice from it, from doing this no sugar November? Um, I don't know that physically, well, physically, it's more of on the hormonal side of things, the yeah. feminine side of things. So for me, oh, yeah, I do yeah. notice changes with my cycle mm. when I don't have sugar. Mm. Um, so I really, I honestly recommend if women, if you mm. are having mm. PMS issues and other symptoms, just check what you're eating. Cause that, if you just change it. And mm. it, like I said, I, I did it for three weeks and I can, I noticed a difference right away. What like, was the, what was the difference? What was the issues that were happening? Um, it, I just don't have as many PMS symptoms okay. like in leading up to my cycle starting like I just it's it's just is like oh there it is you know it's yeah. very it's it's a lot easier but if I'm eating sugar or more processed foods that just messes with my system I'm like oh I know you know yeah. you've got more cramping there's just a lot of insomnia other too right is that what, ha what was happening or yeah that was happening before I'm not quite sure if that's just if that's from okay. sugar or not but um but yeah there's just things that I've noticed that have been different when I don't have mm -hmm. as much sugar in my body so yeah it's very interesting. And I, I, I find it interesting. Maybe a lot of other people don't, but when you are, you're eating the same things all the time or doing the same things and your body is the same way. And then you change something mm -hmm. for the better or for the good, like understanding how your body works is really important. I think so knowing what sugar does to my body and how it changes things. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad I do these little things so I can, I can see the difference mm -hmm. and I can feel better. I know how to change yeah. things. So. so now you're yeah. done with it. Now right. I'm done with it. Yep. Had cheesecake yesterday <laughs> um, and a glass of wine. And a glass of wine. So, um, yeah, so that was good. But yeah. but, yeah, done with it. I'm not going overboard, but now my clients know at the Y that I'm back on the sugars. <laughs> um, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be getting some mm -hmm. treats, especially with Christmas coming up. <laughs> so yes. that cabinet in the kitchen is going to get stocked full of stuff. I can tell you that already. Yeah. So we had Thanksgiving yesterday too. Uh -huh. So that was, that was nice and I, yeah. nice and delicious. You made yeah. the, actually we didn't do any turkey. We did the uh, little chicken Cornish, breast. Yeah. Cornish, Cornish hens. What is it called? Yeah. Cornish hens. Cornish, yeah. yeah okay. Little birds. <laughs> and then you made some stuff in mashed potatoes mm -hmm. and green, green bean, bean casserole. Was Lydia's favorite. Yeah. yeah. What did you, what did you like the most out of that meal? The Cornish hens? Yeah. You have the protein. Very protein good. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> but the mashed potatoes were really mm -hmm. good. Yeah. With gravy on top. Oh, you that have to delicious. have your gravy. <laughs> I almost didn't remember your gravy, and then I did. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, we also did the last seven days. This is your idea. Mm -hmm. What you want to explain? What you were, you did? Yeah, I mean, I we I just decided that we put on the refrigerator. I am thankful for, and then we did the seven days leading up to Thanksgiving, where we all 
wrote on a little index card mm -hmm. something that day that we were thankful for, but we didn't read it. We turned them over so that we didn't see each other's um, yeah. up until yesterday. So we then had dinner and then we sat down and we read everybody's cards. Everyone read someone else's uh, and then we had dessert after yeah. that. So it was it was fun. Well, what did you think about it? <laughs> yeah. I know you're not up for all the that kind of stuff. You just want to no. do, you're like, I just want to say what I'm thankful for that day. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. yeah but... Well, I guess what brought that idea? <laughs> Um, I mean, I've seen other things, I guess, on Facebook or other mm -hmm. where there's just like, you can do gratitude journals and things like that. And I just thought it would be interesting for us to, one, think about it leading up to Thanksgiving and not just the day of. Mm -hmm. um, and then two, I don't know, for me, when I write stuff down, I give it more thought. Yeah, like I, true. It, true. It, you know, if we just sat around the table and said what we're thankful for, like we did, you're like, what are you thankful for today? And for me, I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> you know, it just was harder yep. for me to do it on the spot. So having um, to get to write it down, I thought was was really, I don't yeah, know, it was better and for I think me, I guess. Just showing our kids that mm -hmm. that's part of what we want to yeah. include in our family yeah. is huge because like we need, we do need to have gratitude in our yeah. lives. We've got to make sure that we're, practicing that mm -hmm. and just doing that was very helpful for Lydia when she did read some of the things that you know like mm -hmm. that one day that we both had the same we both had similar uh things that yeah. we we're thankful for like I, I remember writing down like I came home from a long day of work mm -hmm. and I was very you know totally. thankful that she came up to me and just gave me a mm -hmm. hug when I was when I came out of the uh, back gate mm -hmm. and she gave me a hug and just told me that she loved me and I'm like yeah that's what I wrote down I'm like and then she had in her she on hers she loved you yeah, yeah she loved yeah. me <laughs> So, yeah. yeah, it just, I think it's, we easily forget how mm -hmm. grateful we are to mm -hmm. be alive and just to be like, have the food that on food on our table that we did mm -hmm. yesterday and yeah. just enjoy a good meal. Like a lot of, exactly. a lot of people have, might've had a bad Thanksgiving mm -hmm. because of just yeah. the economy and everything that's happening with inflation and all that. Mm -hmm. So glad that we did it because mm -hmm. it just brought more of that positive yeah. vibe in our house. So yeah. it was very yeah, it's cool. We should just do it, it every cool. day. We should just sit down. <laughs> we don't have to put it on the refrigerator or anything <laughs> like that. But yeah. I don't know. I think gratitude journals are really, mm -hmm. um, uh, they're just, just a really positive. Yeah. Right? I mean, it, it's just a way to set a positive, your your mindset into a positive way. Um, it's a way to, I think, help with just like struggles with mental health. If you yeah. struggle with anxiety or depression, if you sit and actually look at the positive every single day, um, that's especially, just going to help. Especially during this yes. time of the season, right? Yes. This is probably one of the hardest times of the season for people mm -hmm. is the holidays. Just because right. a, lot, a lot of things have happened with people and like, I don't know, it's just hard. It's hard times. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you think of it as it's all about family. Right. Mm -hmm. And Thanksgiving is about your family. And I like seeing too, like where people have friends giving or whatever, mm -hmm. when they, they, you know, it's either the people that you were born around or with, or it's the, the family that you've made, you know, after, since you've grown up and moved away. But, you know, there are a lot of people that don't have family or they've mm -hmm. lost people yeah. or they just, you know, have struggles within their family. And so yeah. it's not, I don't know. I, it is a really hard time of the year. And then you talk about us up here going into colder weather. So you're taking the sun away from us. Yeah. And then you're putting all this pressure of family mm -hmm. and all this stuff. So it can become a very stressful time for people. Yeah. And that's why when we practice mm -hmm. positivity, practice thankfulness, mm -hmm. we're, we're taken away from the negative. Right. Right. It's so Because it, it, yeah. it is easy to be negative. It is easy to complain about mm -hmm. life and complain about everything in your life. Right. But it's very difficult to find happiness right. in difficult situations. Yeah, I mean, I think you know? it, it's really good when we do, sometimes we, we talk about comparisons about where you were born, where you come yep. from, um, and then talk about what we have now and looking back and like doing that comparison of like how much we have here, how mm -hmm. much we're blessed with. It's just ridiculous, but this is normal. Yeah. Like this is normal for us. And we could sit too and be like, oh, well, we could have a bigger house or we could have this or we could have yeah. that. And we could very easily mm -hmm. become ungrateful for what we have. Yeah. But when we sit and reflect on, you know, in Guatemala, like, you know, how you were living in poverty as a young child, like we have so much more oh, yeah. than that. And yeah. so if we just really reflect on what we have yeah. now, then we can just be more positive. Yeah. There's nothing that I should be complaining about in my life. There's, mm -hmm. I should yeah. never have bad attitude about what I have in my life because of coming from mm -hmm. poverty and yeah. just having what I have now and seeing how my life was like 
five, ten years ago. I didn't mm -hmm. have you guys. You know, mm -hmm. like just oh, yeah. life is bl a blessing. Mm -hmm. um, right? right. As long as we have our health and we have, I mean, there's just so many things that people yeah. don't have that we have, but it's what we do on a daily basis. Yeah. So we don't think about it as being what we should be grateful for. And I think a lot of people fix, fixate on the what they don't have. Mm -hmm. And that's why, that's where it starts just becoming very negative. And when you, when you get in that mindset, that's when mm -hmm. things just start. Yeah. Just yeah. Getting bad. Yeah. Yeah. Cause if you're always looking at, like you said, what you don't have, that, yeah. that negativity just will become overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah, I could sit here and list a whole bunch of stuff of what I don't have, but you know, I have a lot of stuff too. So yeah. You know, focusing on the positive is important. So yeah, we're gonna keep doing our Thanksgiving refrigerator thankfulness <laughs> little postcard. Yeah, disease. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I think it, yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, that, that can be it for the this episode. Yeah, we got to get decorating for Christmas. <laughs> I told you that we cannot go past a certain time, and we're we're, we're oh, getting yeah, up we're, close we're to it. Up. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you give a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. And hopefully you guys had a good Thanksgiving and we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.